right, it's time Woo. to get the TNA Impact for July 9th, 2007. TNA. <laughs> we are, are wrestling. wrestling. T. <laughs> Why is he putting so much on a T? TNA Sports. E. 18 naked Tonys <laughs> in the shower. <laughs> All right, we need a call. Whoa. We need a call. Whoa. Like, pause. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a... This starts with, like, whatever the song is that they start with for this Victory Road 2007 recap video kicks ass. Are you talking I about the song it. 12 CCs by the band On The Last Day? Is that what it is? Did it say that or you looked it up? No, I know that song. What? No, you don't, dude. What <laughs> did you just say? <laughs> you Tell don't know the 12 CCs. 12 the CCs up. by the band <laughs> On The Last no. Day, Tony. Tell you don't know because the band shit. is called 12 CCs, you dumb fuck. <laughs> no, Tony. Wrong again. Tell it's, this fucking guy, Tony. It's the song 12 CCs by the band On The Last Day. It's about time you. somebody put this, this fucking dude in the dirt, Tony. No, fucking put I think you're making funny is I just reverse dirted this piece of shit. It's <laughs> called 12 CCs you know by the band On The Last Day. You should jam this, okay? <laughs> you should jam this fucking song. I know it because I did the same thing, okay? You piece what? Shit. This song, buddy? Tell him, Tony. Yeah. You remember this song, my ass. Yeah, That's this, what I thought. Me, I, me and the boys were rocking 12 CCs by On The Last you Day were, all the you time. You were not. You were not. Why you say that? Why you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Tony. Look I like the song, and I know Because I knew 2007, James Darnell. Oh. He was not rocking. Oh, 2007, Tony. James Darnell was a crazy <laughs> son of a bitch. I'll tell you that much. He had a private Discord server or something. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> Discord? 2007? I was on TeamSpeak. I was, on, it, 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 oh. I was yeah, venting <laughs> with the boys. Trillo, <laughs> get off vent or you will be vent. I was venting with the boys. Balls of steel. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Victory Road 2007 highlights to the song. Yeah, yeah, Triple cool. X. Yeah. Uh, what did Triple Triple X want a team Ultimate X match? Yeah, it sounded like. So let's talk about 12 CCs by the band on the last day. This sounded like <laughs> <laughs> this sounded like a Rise Against song for a minute. It definitely was every song that came out in 2007 in my fucking eyes. <laughs> TNA yeah. Victory Road 2007, by the way, one of my favorite Christian Cage fits ever, and he brought it back out for this show too. Which it's was the awesome. white, right? It's, yeah, it looks like he's wearing the fucking New York Jets. Yes, that's fucking God tremendous. Jets. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, man. That was awesome. But I want it. Whatever the song is, I still haven't figured it out. I just we told you. I just told you. Well, Tony Listen told me to something me. different. Acknowledge so me. <laughs> 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 Whatever it is, we should use it for something. So this Victory Road, by the way, was where they had all the titles on the line in the main event tag team style or something, right? Wasn't Joe that won there? most of the titles or something, right? Yeah, Kurt. Was it whoever pins, justice. whoever wins the title? Is that how that works? I don't even remember the stipulation for that match. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. So whoever like pinned Win somebody. Winner takes most. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, that's so right. So Joe got the pin and then he wins the tag title. Is that how that worked? It's yes. the only what title he doesn't have is the is the world title. The world title, yeah. So the uh, impact intro is fucking. I, for some reason, I don't remember the impact intro having this many trusses in it. It's just fucking covered in trusses. I love that shit. <laughs> it's awesome. The uh, we were. I was looking at it the other day. I was sending it to Tony the uh, TNA uh, Road Show. Um, yeah. Yes. Oh, on the road. Yes. That, yes, they yes, use yes. the uh, multiple trusses back to back to back to back like Nitro That's used to so do. Awesome. I love That's that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a dream come true, really. Cool. Yeah, Tina had it all, man. Up. You set those up, James. It takes us all day to set up one. Just <laughs> one? <laughs> Holy Christ. The lights on, man. How do you turn these lights orange? <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes before the show, someone kicks the cord and unplugs it all. Oh no! Uh, what do we do? It's also stuffed up its own ass. You can't even walk around it. No it's way. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I don't know. I can't imagine trying to set up all those trusses, man. That's crazy. Uh, so we go backstage here. JB is trying to get to Kurt Angle's locker room. JB, Jeremy Borash here, and I'm trying to talk to Kurt Angle. And he says, uh, Kurt. And Kurt Angle says, Go away, <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, man? And JB says, It's JB. And Kurt says, so what? <laughs> Was going to open that, the door for you? Is JB. Just, yeah. Which uh, just lets him come in. And Cornette has sent him to go talk to Kurt Angle here. Yeah, so JB opens the door. Kurt is in his locker room in a tanning bed. <laughs> Inside of it. All the way in. On. By the way, this... <laughs> Tanning. It's like a tiny locker room. The only thing in there is the tanning bed, which <laughs> yeah, is hilarious. No chair. There's like a chair. <laughs> yeah, he's no just lockers. got the TNA title and the in the uh, IWGP title just hanging out on the chair. Yeah. Well, Can I just say also, fucking this IWGP design is awesome. It's very, very cool. Also, I like that TNA design as well. 
JB knocks on the tanning bed and, and Kurt Angle goes, what? <laughs> JB says, Cornette wants to talk Kurt, to you, is, man. This is important, Kurt. And Kurt says, he, he knows where to find me. He closes the tanning bed. And Kurt JB Angle looks, is, by the way, in yeah, panty oh, loons. He is just thonging here. Full <laughs> ba- red thong and little tanning glasses. <laughs> That's all he's wearing. You wear the glasses, glasses, dude. You, of course. You don't wear the glasses. Your eyeballs is, will pop out of your head. Well, he keeps taking them off, too. And while he's inside this tanning bed, which is surely dangerous. I also, can guarantee JB's not wearing... JB's not wearing them either, so his eyes are fucked, too. I can well, guarantee you that Kurt Angle was on a different stratosphere. <laughs> he didn't know <laughs> he what directly, he was looking at. He could have directly <laughs> looked at the tanning bed and sucked up the power. Uh, tanning pretty, bed <laughs> juice? Uh, Kurt Angle. Cracking <laughs> 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 like glow sticks. <laughs> He was that powered by jumped radiation. off the stage, dude. Uh, that's what he had to do. Wow, Go to the tanning bed and jump off the stage. That's something I haven't seen, like a tanning bed, like light tube spot. I guess what? no that's company can probably... afford to use a tanning bed for Just a spot. absurdly <laughs> fucking a tanning, bed, a tanning bed casket match or something? Yeah, I think that's, what, that's the next step. So Kurt tells JB to tell Cornette, look, man, you know where to find me. I'm in this one little room here with the tanning bed, so just come here. <laughs> and he closes it. And then uh, JB opens it back up and says, no, come on, man. <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta get you going. You really want me to tell Cornette that? Yeah, like, like I got it, man. I don't know. What are you looking at my dick? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you looking, looking at my, my package? package? And Jamie said, "No, I wasn't looking at your package." <laughs> and Kurt says, "How dare you interrupt the only Olympic gold medalist in TNA history?" And he closes it again. And then JB stops. He turns and looks at the camera. He looks back down. He opens it again. He says, "Let me get this straight. <laughs> 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 you want me to go tell Cornette this?" Kurt looks up at him and says. Are you looking at my, my fucking my dick? Look at my dick, brother. brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I he like keeps covering it up too. <laughs> he's got yeah. Uh, he's doing this interview with JB, and he's just got both his hands on his dick. Don't look at my dick because <laughs> he doesn't want JB looking at his cock, of course. So we go backstage. Uh, JB goes to Kurt backstage again. He's in this tanning booth still. He just uh, he just strap opens the tan bit, Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt is JB again. Kurt says, "What the hell?" Kurt's ass cheeks are Kurt, just Kurt's hanging on his out. Yeah. He's gonna be you, you were looking at, my, looking ass, at my, my ass. I caught you. you. No, no, I'm no, not. not Cornette sent me. I wasn't looking at your ass. <laughs> you know, Kurt, I wasn't looking at your ass. Cornette says, "If you don't go right now, it'll be ten thousand dollars out of your check." Kurt says, ten thousand dollars. That's like a suit to me." Oh, okay, I'll go. I'll go see what he wants. So Kurt slowly gets out of this tanning bed, but almost butt ass naked, just cheeks That's flopping awesome. out here, tanned cheeks. And he looks over and just his thong and he says, Where's my suits? Where's my titles? Where's my underwear? He looks at JB Honey, and he says, Where's my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> he says, He looks at JB and he says, Are you wearing my underwear? underwear? And JB says, no, I don't wear underwear. underwear. What Kurt the gets- fuck? <laughs> he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't wear underwear. Be, and Kurt gets a little on. smile on his face. And he says, ah, free balling. And Jamie's like, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's the yeah. end of the segment. That's the end of it. You really have to see their faces as this is happening because this is absolutely absurd. Because you wear my underwear. And I'm not wearing any underwear today. <laughs> Which is like, uh, this is fucking crazy. Like, why even? Why was that even have come up? Ah, I'm free balling. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy because Kurt is like, I have free balling. Yeah. Yeah, he's like it's, super into it. JB, JB's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, this is absurd. Uh, I love this. This whole, I can't believe this is crazy because, like, this whole show was centered around Kurt Angle in his little speedo. And they're not like, this only is awesome. that. This is the show after the pay per view. <laughs> this is what they're keeping the people. With. How are you going to get people tuned in? Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Adrenaline rush, adrenaline rush. Yeah. You know you can't get enough of it, man. We God. are wrestling. Yeah, Where's J- my underwear? <laughs> J- I watch, dude. JB is so much like Smithers from The Simpsons, man. Like he is like oh, the ultimate he is, Smithers. He's ever. great. I I actually love JB, man. Yeah, JB's no, he awesome, plays man. his role so good. Uh, we go backstage. Kurt Angle's walking down the hallway with JB Jeremy Borash, and he's Still just naked. in his speedo and sandals and the little glasses. At least he has the sandals now. But yeah, why does he still have the glasses? <laughs> you never know. He's, he doesn't take them off the whole time. He walks up to this random woman in the hallway, says, "Hey, have you seen my stuff?" And she looks at him and is disgusted and walks away. And he says, "Wait, she's never seen a man naked before." <laughs> 
<laughs> and Jamie says, like, I don't know, probably not. A <laughs> JB is like a sidekick. He's not like he's not like against Kurt here. He's really on Kurt's side. <laughs> we go backstage more. Kurt Angle is now in the producer's room. No, this is the locker room, right? I think. Oh, okay. This is the locker yes, room part. Yes, the locker okay. room. Yes. Locker room part. He's standing on a bench, still full thong, still uh, tanning glasses on. He is holding court here in the locker room. Yeah. He is surrounded by the wrestlers. <laughs> There's like Homicide and Hernandez are here. I think Team Canada is here. Shark Boy is Saban here. Saban back there. Saban, yeah, yeah, just everyone is here. Kurt Angle is in a fucking red thong holding court. And he says, somebody All has TNA stole. All TNA jabronis. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> Listen here. He said, someone has stole my Armani suit, my titles, and my underwear. It was always Armani suit every time, by the way. Not just yeah, suit, yeah, Armani yeah, yeah. suit. Make sure you get that shit right. Armani suit. He said, when I look around, I see a lot of opening carters, mid carters, and main event wannabes. <laughs> All jabronis, stand up. <laughs> stand up. Stand up. He stand says, up. If you're gonna, Kurt very sincerely says, if you're going to steal... You know, stealing is wrong. <laughs> I see a lot of potential truck drivers here, but what I don't see is my titles, my Armani suit, and my underwear. <laughs> so I'm asking. That was so crazy. He's looking yeah. right at Shark Boy. I've seen a lot of potential truck drivers and seven level workers. <laughs> what the fuck? He says, I want my stuff back right now, and if I don't get it, there's going to be hell to pay. Speaking of Shark Boy, he turns around, he looks right at Shark Boy, and he says, What are you smiling at? <laughs> What the hell's wrong with you? Shark you Boy smi- is always smiling. Always. <laughs> he can't I, stop smiling. He's just very happy shark man. He says, what are you smiling? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Kurt jumps off the bench and starts whooping Shark Boy's ass <laughs> in Shark Boy doesn't even say nothing. Shark, 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 Boy, shark Boy's so confused. Dude, he, he starts con- giving the meanest European uppercuts he's to Shark the Boy. He's giving uppercuts. And then he drops <laughs> Shark Boy. And he looks down and he says, oh, you're so, so smiling, smiling, huh? He starts stomping him out. <laughs> he's stomping. And Shark Boy out in the sand. So no, nobody in the locker room gives a fuck either. They just no let him get his ass helping. kicked. All jabronis and truck drivers. Shut up. I, I, was, I was losing my mind. Oh, you're still smiling, huh? <laughs> uh, we talked about this a little bit before. Kurt Angle, when he came to TNA, was all in on TNA. Like, yeah. there's not a lot yeah. of people that came over to TNA at the time that were super all in. Like, Christian yeah. was all in for a little bit. Um, mm-hmm. But Kurt Angle was like, we're taking this to the moon, man. We're fucking doing this shit. Yeah. He didn't give a fuck. He would do whatever, man. Like, this is this is so crazy. Yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> we smile on that. We got Lance Hoyt versus Kip James up next. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we smile at cra- yeah, it. Not only that, it's Lance Hoyt with Christy Hemi versus Kip James with BG James and Roxy Laveau. And Roxy Laveau, I believe, just joined VKM at the pay per view yes. and hit yes, Christy did. with a fucking dominator. I don't know which I don't remember what she called Sweet it. Finish. But it it's cool, yeah. Like not just uh, not really Farouk style. She like kind of like body slams, uh, full, like yeah, body slam style, really. Right, goes from like, power bomb up to like a dominator, running again. power slam style. I guess you could say not yeah, except for the running style. Yes, yes, very. BG James is on commentary here as well, by the way. Yeah, geez, you won't make this match. Uh, Lance Hoy uh, is out here with Christy Hemi. They're making out. Pretty sweet gig. Yeah! Uh, 911 fucking operator theme song. So you know that shit's hot. (laughs) 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 Yep, James. BG James drives me a little. I remember thinking at this time, I was like, man, this is the easiest Grand Slam hit of all time. I'm like, this is like the easiest home run ever. Roxy Laveau is good. She has a cool as fuck. She has character, is the easiest fucking home run ever. TNA said, are you sure about that? We (laughs) can't. BG James on commentary. BG James cannot stop himself. He goes, we were trying to give Lance Hoyt the rub. You know, we say that in this business. Oh, my the rub God. We to- <laughs> yeah, we took him in. We took him under our wing. And we give him what I like to call the rub. This- oh, brother. He's, he's, try- he's also, for a moment, trying to put over Roxy Laveau. And he's screaming about Marie Laveau, who is... Uh, I, uh, Roxy Laveau is a direct descendant of Marie Laveau. He says, look her up! Look her up! <laughs> like, no, man, stop! She's, Google it. She's the OG voodoo queen, and I was yes. like, why do you need a voodoo queen in the VKM? And then I realized it's voodoo kin mafia. It's like, yes. it literally voodoo. Literally, <laughs> like, we need a voodoo girl. Is what you it don't is. need a It was a rip-off of Vince McMahon. Why do you gotta do a voodoo? <laughs> Dude, easiest Grand Slam home run ever with her. They... They did nothing with her. She did win a uh, Queen of the Cage at Lockdown 2008. What the hell is that? Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> so yeah. So, the 2008 match began as a reverse battle royal with eight wrestlers. The first two oh, that entered the cage shit. then yeah. in a one oh, Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Have to climb over the first two to climb over the cage and get in. I'm oh, now in a one on one match. Here you go. She competed in the TNA Knockout Makeover Battle Royal, a two part match where the first part contested under normal battle royal rules. And the last two women in the ring would then compete in a ladder match <laughs> where the winner would become the new number one contender while the loser would have their head shaved bald. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Easiest Grand Slam run. Oh, shit. Ever. I'm looking here. She was a DPW Women's Champion. <laughs> That's for true. That's awesome. Oh, wow. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Is that real? Defiant Pro Wrestling. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, and then she they dropped the Laveau portion of her name, and she was just Roxy. Uh, and then she became the hardcore knockout. Um, and you, you can you know where that went? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she was gone. Damn! <laughs> Get that fool Damn, off the court. Uh, that reminds me of Mel in AEW. Oh yeah, I forgot about. Oh my god, that. I forgot about Mel. Yeah, they brought they her shaved in, her head too. shaved her head, and said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all we got. Well, it's just like what they do with Deeb in WWE, right? Shaved her head. Shaved her head. That's all it. we got. Don't let them shave your head. Don't, Don't yeah. let them do it. Listen, Don't let them do it. It, worked, it worked out for Kurt Angle and Molly Holly. Come on. My Maybe it's time to see. Don't yeah. shave your head. <laughs> <laughs> Kip hits the famouser uh, after a missed boot from Hoyt, and he yes. wins in three minutes. First off, <laughs> damn, what are y'all yeah. doing? Yeah. Well, they tried to give him the rub in the business, brother. God damn it. Push you got style. BGJ's like, <laughs> Terry tried to give him the rub. Sweet style from BGJ's and Kip J's. Kip J's said, how about I hit you with my finish and you lose, you bitch. bitch. <laughs> Get voodooed. Oh my god, man. Holy shit. I'm so, surprised they were still calling it the famous or I'm surprised they didn't call it the fuck you, Paul Fucker. <laughs> yeah. The James the James the the rub. on there. Yeah, the Everyone rub, had James the in it. <laughs> oh my god. So he gets the famous sir. Uh Kip J's just destroys fucking almost seven foot. Fucking Lance Hoyt, man. It's just like, damn. And B yes, BG James is screaming on commentary about the new, is this a new and improved Voodoo Kin Mafia. And Mike Tanay says, wow, <laughs> the, the, v the VKM in TNA. And BJ James gets so close to the mic, he says, you damn right. <laughs> <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> so Christy Amy is pissed. Uh, she gets in the ring. Holy <laughs> fuck, dude! Dude, you want to? Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what TNA said tonight? It said Lance Hoyt and Christy Hemi. How about you both just eat as much shit as you really <laughs> possible? We really oh, have to God, get over the die. VKM. <laughs> make sure you call Christy a bimbo seven hundred fucking times here. Call Can her you a make bimbo sure and then beat the fuck out of her. All right, yeah, just hit her with her finish and then call her a bimbo some more. You fucking just fucking bury these two. Christy these guys Hemi try, gets in the ring, tries a low blow. Kip James, Kip. Somehow sees this coming, grabs her arm, fucking holds both her arms, and Roxy comes in, does her little shimmy shake, hits the Dominator, and then did it, did it, did it. Help me! Help me! They're stifling my push! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is insane. There's like no, there's no who. Fuck, man. We could do yeah. a whole show about breaking this fucking down. What was going on right now? We could do like a whole series on VKM. <laughs> what was going on with this, man? <laughs> this is new and improved VKM, though. You, know, yeah. you did it! <laughs> <laughs> We're all in on the voodoo part of the VKM. Hell Let's yeah. run with that. Uh, we go backstage. Uh, Leticia interviews Samoa Joe about his big challenge. Dude's holding like four titles right now. <laughs> it's all so him. fucking sweet. He's all the belts. It is very fucking cool, too. Uh, he says that uh, one person affected is going to have to wait until later to hear about this challenge that he's got. I got a challenge, and I'm not telling you about it, bitch. Fuck right, you. See ya. Why they even show this? <laughs> <laughs> got to get everyone on again and again. I don't yeah, know. True. Um, yeah, true. Backstage. Why, honestly, why did they? Like, I feel like that just gave away the finish to this Kurt Angle thing. Like, why did they even have to do that? No clue, dude. Not <laughs> one. Uh, we go backstage. The camera is just <laughs> focused on Kurt Angle as it pans out to this table of producers. Yes. It is a conference room with a conference table that Kurt Angle is standing on. Now, not only <laughs> is Kurt Angle standing on this with goggles, thong, and now he is barefoot. 
but for some reason, JB Jeremy Borash <laughs> is also standing on the table with him. He's got to hold the microphone, you know? Holding the microphone for him. And Kurt is looking around. This It's a room full of, you know, they, they got the camera people in there, production crew. And Kurt says, you know, when you cross, I brought you all here for one reason and one reason only. He says, when you cross Kurt Angle, there's going to be hell to pay. And he, he just runs over the same speech that he did for the boys. He says, I know you guys don't make a lot of money. And you could get a lot of money for my titles and my Armani suits and my underwear. <laughs> no, I know there are a lot of truck drivers and several other workers in here. <laughs> he does. He says, all you blue-collar workers don't get a lot of money. <laughs> I know there's a lot of blue-collar workers. He says, but that is stealing, and stealing is wrong. <laughs> Just like Samoa Joe, who stole my tag team titles. Now I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn my back, and I'm going to count to 10. And when I turn back around, I want my stuff to be in the middle of this table. I thought he said the middle of this ring, but I think it was the table. He said, is that understood? Is that understood? I say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. He walks to the end of this table, and he stands in front of a man who is sitting down with a bandana on. And I was very offended by this, that he did this to this man. <laughs> Kurt is standing here, and the shot that you see is just Kurt Angle's fucking ass. And he knows it because he is flexing his ass cheeks for the camera. <laughs> They're gyrating, and he's not even doing it on purpose. He's, he's having fucking... butt spasms on camera. <laughs> It is uncontrollable cheek syndrome that he is portraying here. Kim James is about to come and hit him with the rub here in a minute. No, no. <laughs> so Kurt is counting to 10. One guy stands up and he goes to leave. And he's like, oh, this is ridiculous. And he goes to leave. He's trying to leave. And Kurt Angle looks around like a horror movie villain. <laughs> and he says, oh, this is ridiculous, huh? Kurt walks to the end of this table and hits a double axe handle to this man. <laughs> he's, just wearing, the, he's just wearing khaki the, shorts, man. He's just trying to live. He's just polo shirt and khaki <laughs> shorts. None of these Kurt, guys are writing the show, by the way. No way. I don't know what these guys are doing. That guy probably holds the cables or something. He's holding cables. Kurt double axe handled butt cheek style and starts whooping this guy's ass. And he fucking uppercuts him to the floor. He picks him back up, puts him in the chair, and says, this meeting is not over. And then hits him with a fucking uppercut. Does <laughs> anyone else want some? And he pulls the glasses down and says, I didn't think so. Have a good day, gentlemen. <laughs> what the this fuck? This is the show he after the baby the glasses, glasses back down? <laughs> and why did he put the tanning glasses back down? Yeah, those like the straps. Those are like the straps Holy with the little shit. glasses. Samoa, this show is like, man, if we don't have Joe and Angle on this show, man, I don't know what the hell's going on. This is crazy. These guys are just like a whole different level here. I couldn't yeah. believe he double like the, the again. I feel like this is an episode. Like I know, we, I feel like all the episodes you guys should watch just to understand what we're talking about. But you got to see Kurt Angle in this episode, man. This is like an all timer fucking Kurt Angle show. Yeah, it really yeah. is. It true. Like this is Kurt Angle at his finest. He's going nuts here, man. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So we have Christian Cage and James Storm versus Rhino and Chris Harris up next. Rhino, uh, shaved face here. Clean baby Rhino. I kind of like this. I thought it was I, that was he cool. did have the deadlock D on as well. Shout out. Of course he did. Hell yeah. This is TNA shit right here. I like so that. So they, they recap James Storm hitting Rhino in his fucking face with a beer bottle at the pay-per-view and also, uh, exploding jism keg in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> a little pony keg. He just fucking pours a keg in his mouth. Uh, and they also recap Dustin Rhodes attacking Chris Harris oh to help God. Christian win. And then they keep showing this shot of Dustin Rhodes' just grumpy little face. Is <laughs> this the natural, is the natural Dustin coming Well, they back call him what? that, Tony, I believe. Yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> Dude, okay, so... Chris Harris at this time, they were just doing nothing with this guy. So Chris Harris, he, uh, uh, they gave him, they gave him this white. He either he gave himself this or they gave him this, and this white jacket was the downfall of Chris Harris because <laughs> he never recovered from the white jacket no, push no. that they tried to give him. Man, he thought they looked sweet as hell. He's like, "This is my main event look," and it did not fucking work, man. <laughs> Chris, uh, from what I understand, uh, Jarrett talked about it on the podcast a little bit. Uh, Harris and Storm were Bob Ryder guys at the time. Um, um, Bob Ryder is gone, right? Yeah, our, uh, Bob. He well, Bob Ryder was like uh, he was like super anti Russo 
and okay. Russo's writing the right. show at this point. Yeah. And you know, if you're if you're Bob Ryder guys, Russo's not gonna write you anything worth the shit. No and way. Harris Damn. kept complaining and kept complaining because he's like, I want to do something else. I want to do something else. I want to do something else. Put this jacket on. Yeah, Russo said, Yeah, we got you, man. And then uh, <laughs> of course we know Chris Harris ends up getting released and then uh, goes to WWE and then oh, he's no. like, Hey, he better be lucky they didn't shave his head. <laughs> yeah, they were like one match away. <laughs> was coming. Reverse battle royale ladder cage. Oh, yeah. You're about to get oh, fucked. No, no, Dumb no. style. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Chris is out here. He's got the best interest gear he ever had. I love this shit, man. God, I it's love so this. It's so cool, man. All time look for him, man. Just good lord. I, if I was fucking, we were in the room in there, I'd be like, yeah, he's still the champion. I don't know, man. He's got to be the champion. He just yeah. looks like a champion. He carries himself like a champion. He's got he's his so over too. Yeah, man. There's just fuck so much. I love him here. having a group too. Like he's like. Uh, it's I don't know. There's some guys that like should just have a stable. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. You know, like Raven. <laughs> this is a. <laughs> well. <laughs> this is an all-time uh, Christian group, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god! It's awesome. Yeah. Christian Cage, James Storm, AJ Styles, Tomko. Like, there's yep. so much Sweet. going on here, man. Um. So Rhino and Christian in this match here early on to a spot where Christian gets flapjack pretty high. I feel yes. like they use that in video packages forever. <laughs> I think so too. But I think that might just be like a vintage like Christian spot. Like he's real good at taking the flapjack. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, I've seen this, I don't know, two or a million yeah. times probably sure. in my life. Um, Harris and Storm are so good at this point, man. Uh, which is, you know, it's crazy looking back on it because I think everybody saw Chris Harris as the breakout between these two guys. I um, did. And, I uh, I was in an E-Fed as Chris Harris. I thought he was the next big fucking thing. And fuck me, man. Fuck me forever. Uh, James Storm. I mean, they're both firing off here. They get into the ring with each other and they're doing like, they're so fast and so mean. And it's like, yeah. man. What? Like, the talent had, was never the problem here. I was going to say, like, because Chris Harris was good. That's the most annoying part is that, like, he probably should have been a much bigger deal. Like, James Storm obviously comes around. His fucking gimmick gets real fucking sweet, and he just becomes, like, a star. Like, Chris Harris, I don't know if he just didn't find it or they didn't give him time to find it yeah. or whatever it may be. Yeah, Chris probably. Harris was fucking good, man. He was good. and like He looked good, he too. He looked good. Yeah, absolutely. Storm goes for the super kick here on Harris, the last call. Um, <laughs> Harris ends up moving out of the way, hits a very iffy catatonic gear. What? Oh man, I was so excited because I was like, oh, I fucking haven't like, see, I feel like I haven't watched Chris Harris like do this in a minute. I was like, oh, here we go. And I was like, damn, look at this. He fucking shit it in it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Chris. Come on. Pick him up, do it again. Yeah. Free tape, man. Stand Fuck up. It. Stand up. <laughs> uh, Tom was that Coe before the referee the, out? Uh, was that before after the Tower of Doom suplex thing that they did? Oh, yeah, that was real early on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so Tomko pulls a ref out here. Yes. Uh, Dustin Rhodes comes in the ring. Fucking hell. It's Chris Harris with a steel chair from behind. He, that was a good chair shot too, by the way. Like he, he hit him with it. Yeah. He ain't pulling all that shit. I'm gonna tell you that. Uh, Storm then pins Harris. Uh, and then James Storm and Christian Cage win the match. Fuck you, Chris Harris. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you are out of here. <laughs> God, uh, man. Rhino attacks James Storm after the match, but Jackie makes a save. Miss Jackie Moore gets in, like, drags Rhino off by grabbing his hair. And Rhino, uh, she goes to slap him, but Rhino catches it. Rhino pr goes to press slam Jackie. And Tomko comes in and just kicks Rhino right in his fucking face, man. Yeah, I could not believe that. So hard. <laughs> he was so hard. And Rhino falls back. Jackie falls on top of him. Uh, Christian and James Storm then have a post-match beer bottle style. And they uh, they drink, and they go to pour it on Rhino. But Abyss's music hits, lights go out, Abyss comes out, fucking chases everybody away, uh, and everyone's like, ah, oh, they, they scatter. But that's not it, because uh, Christian is on the ramp. Uh, Tom goes up there, too. I think uh, James Storm is up. I don't know if James Storm was there for this either. I don't know if he I didn't see James side. Storm on the ramp for this. Yeah. So they're on the ramp, and Abyss is in the ring. And Sting... In the background of Christian, like, laughing that he escaped from Rhino, Sting is whooping Tomko's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just beating the shit out of him with a bat. And then he walks up behind Christian and very slowly sticks the bat between Christian's legs. 
Uh, style. Christian, yeah, this is fucking weird. <laughs> this was. Style, that's awesome. Yeah, like very pee pee style for sure. <laughs> and he crotches him with it, throws Christian back on the ring. Abyss starts whooping his ass. He goes for the black hole slam, but Christian bails out. Not only out of the ring, but he goes through the crowd. And what I loved even more that he goes through the crowd is Abyss chases him through the crowd. <laughs> he goes out <laughs> after him, which is awesome. I like that Abyss when he, he Christian bails out. Uh, Abyss is doing a spin in the ring because he was trying to do the black hole slam. Yeah. So he does a spin in the ring, even though Christian bailed out. <laughs> even though he missed it. it yeah, 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 yeah. That's so yeah. fucking cool, man. Abyss was yeah, so man, good. Uh, uh, yeah, man. I, 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 it's a shame they could never find, some, you know, figure out something for Abyss. Uh, we go backstage again. Uh, Letitia follows Christian and Styles as they're trying to leave the building. The they classic running. TNA parking lot. <laughs> they are running through the TNA parking lot. He's yelling at her, there's no time for scoop. We have to get out of here. <laughs> There is no scoops. <laughs> no scoops. <laughs> There's no time for scoops. <laughs> Christian is just fucking perfect at this. Um, Styles says that we don't have a vehicle to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, Christian asks, like, where's the car? And AJ says, car? <laughs> <laughs> he looks at him like, he's car? speaking another language. Car. I don't have a car. I have a truck. And Christian says, we'll fucking take it to him. <laughs> AJ is great here. They're just awesome. Yeah. Uh, Robert Rude and Miss Brooks come up. And they say, hey, we'll take care of Abyss. And he says, no way, man. No way. We're staying here. We're in the last. Christian says, get me the fuck out of here, dude. As they're running, he says, drop the bags. He goes, no, you got your gear now. I can't drop the bags. <laughs> Styles said he could take care of Abyss's sting. Uh, and then they end up running away. They run to a truck, AJ Styles' truck over in the corner. AJ uh, is yelling back at Robert Roode as they're running to the truck and says, ha ha, look who's riding with Christian. <laughs> Styles gets behind the wheel. Christian gets in the fucking seat. Christian yells out of the car. He says, back to the street corner, trick. We're out of here. <laughs> I don't AJ, know. At one point, it, it, oh, this yeah, is AJ on. says, you know his real name is Bobby? I don't no, know why he's like that. <laughs> Bobby? <laughs> he's talking to Robert Rude. He's like, you know his real name is Bobby? <laughs> As they're running through the parking lot. I think. <laughs> AJ, also, they get into the truck, and AJ, look, Christian's in a panic, and AJ looks over and says, Hey, what do you want to listen to? Chris says anything for country. <laughs> get, get us out of here. You start the ignition and you hear, ah! <laughs> dude, dude, this is, this is this is like the most. This is why wrestling is so fucking good, man. Like this whole show is like, like obviously it could work in like a movie or whatever but like <laughs> this only works in pro wrestling for no, me man. Yeah, hell yeah. AJ is in the front seat of this truck he adjusts the fucking mirror and he see not only does he see Abyss <laughs> in the back seat not only is Abyss just there Abyss does the Abyss pose <laughs> that's so beast <laughs> I just imagine him having chains for some reason yeah, too I don't too. think he did but <laughs> yeah. he does the Abyss pose and, goes, and then Christian AJ freaks <laughs> out and run away i fucking love this fucking show man abyss then steps out of the car to look at the camera and go oh. <laughs> whatever so after that uh it's actually time for the end of the show uh kurt yes, angle is. is here for his town hall um oh boy. kurt angle makes his entire entrance <laughs> through the floor with pyro with a bathrobe and tanning robot. glasses on <laughs> he's got the robe the glasses and he has the the, sli uh, the flip flops back on now but he is wearing a robe and the pyro and all that the too yeah. full <laughs> entrance man this is so fucking sick kurt angle says i like pranks guys i'm, I'm I a big prankster humor. myself yeah. Uh, I love this pranks. Is this is pretty funny. This is not a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Angle says, it's probably one of you fans that took my damn shit. Go sell my underwear for $2,000 on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I, run, I can't seem to come up with any of my stuff. If anyone was going to steal my titles, my Armani suit, and my underwear, who would be sick enough to steal my <laughs> underwear? Have to be one of you fucking fans. And then he says the $2,000 thing, and Don West says, $2,000? $2,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And Kurt says, uh, if I'm going to have to come out there and beat all your asses, I will do it. I want my stuff back. And then Samoa Joe's music hits. And Samoa Joe comes out with every championship in TNA all history. <laughs> <laughs> this all is the titles so cool. Buckled together over his shoulders. And he also has uh, the Armani suit in his grasp. And Joe gets in the ring and he says, rest assured, I'm no thief. But I don't think this is true, Joe. You were holding all this shit, but that's fine. 
So I came out here to put the past nine months behind us. Tonight in this ring, I want to start the next chapter in Yeah, wait a minute. So what's angle. the deal? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he so do? I just I this? steal this shit. What? <laughs> I'm no thief. He says it twice. I'm no thief. These belong to you. What, man? <laughs> Why did you do this, this at all? Crazy, this is a crazy shit, man. I don't know. He said, we want to find out who's the best in the world. And judging by all this gold in the ring, you're looking at two of the best in the world right now. By the way, here's your clothes back. I didn't steal your underwear. You showed I up with those on. Shit, <laughs> I, I didn't steal the shit, I did not steal your underwear. All right. <laughs> <laughs> at Hard Justice, Samoa Joe versus Kurt Angle, one more time. The last time we did this for pride and respect at Hard Justice, how about we do it for all the gold? And are you in? Or are you in? <laughs> That's the, Samoa Joe stole all Kurt's stuff and then gave him an unfair question that he could not refuse. This is a fucked up situation for Kurt Angle here. I'm actually starting to feel bad for the guy. Joe says, or he asked Kurt, he says, are you in or are you in? And then Don West says, oh, he has to be in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, That's, That's for true. <laughs> that is for true. true. Uh, so Joe extend the hand and Kurt thinks about it. You can see him counting in his head how many championships he are in the ring or on the line. I don't. Was the IWGP title that he did or I did guess not have? So. Yes. Yeah. Every title, everything in the ring was on oh, the wow. line. Yes. Okay. What about the Armani suit? Uh well, I don't know because that could get stolen again. That good. God damn Joe it. Oh, well, Joe is no thief though. No way. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> so uh, he, Kurt thinks about it. He shakes the hand. And then they hug. <laughs> I don't know why they hugged. Joe raises Kurt's hand. And then fucking headbutts him. <laughs> and then starts <laughs> stomping out Kurt Angle's naked ass. <laughs> His robe is falling all off. He just stomping him out. Joe goes out of the ring and then gets a table? What the fuck is happening here? He puts the table in the ring, puts it in the corner, goes to powerbomb Kurt through the table. Kurt gets out of it. And then naked ass Kurt Angle hits a fucking spine buster through the table. What the fuck? This is crazy. And then Angle locks him, Grape finds him, bites his boot, <laughs> and that's how the show ends with naked ass Kurt Angle beating up wow. some Joe. <laughs> what the fuck? That's called the rub. Adrenaline rush. <laughs> adrenaline rush. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. What a fucking... What a fucking show, man. I mean, this is a, absolutely the epitome of the Kurt Angle show. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. what they call it. That's what they that's say. That's what they call it. I, well, yeah, that's what, he, yeah, that's what they say. That's what he calls uh, it. Yeah. Best and worst of TNA all in an hour. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, that's fucking true. <laughs> Give me that nasty, give me that food, give me that barber, check out the dude. I feel like Trump when I step in the booth. Yeah, I feel like Judy, you know how to do it. Stick for the movie guns. I know he's playing zombies. Choppers like Bale and that shit coming in case he's done. I'm that bitch back on me. Give me that pole, give me that pole. Hit her like H Town, knocking them boots. Daddy's not here, my dick not a truth. Like Lucas got my pistol in the boot. Yeah! Crack in the booth. Feel like Steve will stop me, not true. Couldn't shop at the store and have EBT too nice. Stuck in the car, I'm in that money grave. It's time for the Patreon roll call. Who is Chase Bell? Peanut Monster, Heel Diggy, S. Milne, Z. Nigel McGuinness is concussed, dude. Or maybe he isn't brother. Noah Turner, Torch Crawler, Eric Ward, William Powell, Traffic Cohen, Yay Boy Thomas, 002, Ghost Patrol, RVD's Nuts. I want Bojack in a ladder match. Too High to Die 81, Tony Davis, and Snacks the Man. If you want to support me and gain early access to videos, then sign up for my Patreon. It's only $3 a month. The link is in the description.